have an important message, y'all. Please, please, please do not skip this. Listen, listen, listen. So about a year ago, God gave me an emergency word to drop on my Bible study that I posted on Instagram. If you don't know, go listen to that video. And he said he's doing one last call because the spiritual is about to mix with the physical full time. Now, that was about a year ago. So now you guys probably are seeing like it's starting to happen. Things are starting to happen and this and that. But the Holy Spirit had me come on here and tell you this. And I really need you guys to listen and don't just hear it and don't listen. This is a message from God. This is not just me chatting. Okay. This April 8th thing y'all been seeing about the eclipse and all this and they opening the product group, whatever, blah, blah, right? Listen, God, I'm sitting here watching Netflix. I'm watching a video about it. God says, stop what you're doing and make a video. So here I am. He wanted me to tell you on this day, this is going to be the day that the spiritual is mixing with the physical full time. Now, I want to tell you, this does not mean Jesus is coming back or to the, on the 8th. That's not what this means. God said what this means is the enemy is going to run so rampant on this world, y'all. I need y'all to listen. He's about to run crazy because the spiritual is about to mix with like a physical super hard. Please, y'all. Please, y'all. Please, please get right. No coincidence that an event like this has never been recorded in the entirety of human history until CERN's experiment. When you're talking about the Large Hadron Collider and physics experiments at this level, the key word is energy. What they're trying to do there is mimic, uh, approach the energies that happened at the beginning of the Big Bang. And all the energy that was released, some of it stayed energy, a lot of it turned into matter. And so if you want to understand the nature of that matter, you need to pull it apart and have a good look at it. And you do that by banging particles into each other that smash into their constituent particles, elements, even you know smaller and smaller and smaller subatomic elements. And you need huge energies to do that. Current theories that are emerging are numerous. Some of them are pretty ridiculous, but many of them actually have scientific weight behind them. Quantum physicist Max Lochlin, a 17-year-old genius known as the smartest kid in the world right now, believes that CERN destroyed the universe when they conducted their experiment. He believes the force exerted during CERN's experiments shifted particles between dimensions, what he calls an infinite loop that plucked us out of our current timeline and placed us onto an alternate timeline. His justification for this is the finding of three new subatomic particles found in the debris that had not been discovered by any other experiment before. Other scientists believe that CERN may have accidentally opened a portal to an alternate universe, allowing beings or substances from another dimension to pass through into ours. Demons are one explanation, with some saying that CERN opened a portal to hell with the Large Hadron Collider. Many have drawn similarities with the Book of Revelations 9-2, which speaks of a bottomless pit that angels who have sinned are cast into. Theorists believe that the mysterious energy released during the experiment is from this bottomless pit. Many have begun to associate the Large Hadron Collider's 7.2 kilometer circular structure with the ring of the pit. This ties closely with theories from within CERN attempting to open portals for demons to enter our world via the collider. And this phase, this phase of pre ram will be setting up all the uh, systems in the LHC, from the radio frequency cavities to the magnets, the collimators. All these systems will be getting ready, synchronized to start a ramp period together in 1,200 seconds, this ramp period of 20 minutes will be increasing the energy of the beam gradually up to a record energy uh, that have never been achieved before in any particle accelerator up to 6.8 tera electron volts. Many fear that the July 7th incident was them succeeding and that the bottomless pit will open to punish the sins of those who have toyed with powers beyond their understanding. You know the Bible reveals to us where Satan's throne is? In Revelation chapter 2, it says this, 
I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. You did not renounce your faith in me, not even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness, who was put to death in your city where Satan lives. Look, history tells us that Antipas was murdered during the reign of Nero in a town called Lyon, which is actually modern day Geneva, Switzerland. But that's not even the crazy part. Wait till you hear what's happening in Geneva. An organization named CERN is actually based in Geneva, Switzerland. CERN's objective is to split the veil between the supernatural and the natural. They literally want to create a portal into hell. And ironically, their logo is three sixes. And the Bible says this is the city of Satan.